Kalisal sword just straight up freaking winning here. Can we find it? <gasps> Yo, what? What? <laughs> to buy all of your tickets. How many? Yes. Yes. What up brothers and sisters and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Match Malone. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I'll be having a most wonderful freaking day. Hey, if you haven't been here during the live streams, well, boo on you, my friend. There will be still be one more tomorrow. And then I will be gone for uh, one week, sadly. Well, sadly for all of you. But there will be enough videos. That much I can 99% guarantee that there will be enough videos. And uh, yeah, I will be going to uh, Prague to play a modern tournament and a standard tournament. So I'm very excited for that. Uh, we'll be meeting a lot of friends. Solaris will be there. Skura, aka Islands and Fronts, will be there. Ash Lizzle will be there. Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of cool people from Team Ultimate Guard as well. And Team Ultimate Guard will be there as well. Um, what's with my way way like way over there? Is it right? okay? So perfect. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> also, we're still on our way to 30k. So if you want to see me fix my beard a little bit more, why don't you? Subscribe to the channel, become part of the Maloniacs. I would appreciate it also very freaking much. But enough with the yammering. Let's get into the my sacrifice hammering. We're playing a sacrifice deck. That is why it's called Creed. If you if you don't got to get the reference, just Google my sacrifice. So um, this is a very nice deck. It's a very cool freaking deck, and it just got better by the addition of one card that just let it go over the top, and that is the Haunted Bro Bone Brood. Don't, don't look at these little doggos. Don't, don't you look at these little doggos. They're super cute. They have nothing to do with the deck. You might see them maybe once and that's it. Um, if you're watching the whole video, yes, you will see them once. And that is freaking it. So what does the deck want to do? Well, as you can see, the Bone Brute has one ability and that is when it dies, each opponent loses three life. So that is already very darn freaking good. We like that. Um, but that is not enough to win. You will see that, uh, you know, just dealing them three damage is still 27 damage off. So, what we want to do is to throw that into our opponent's face after we attacked in. If you attack in with the Bone Brute, that is 6. Plus the 3 from dying, that is 9. Plus throwing it into our opponent's face with the Callus Cell Sword, that is already 15 damage. 15 freaking damage. Just like that, out of freaking nowhere, RTKO, and we like those RTKOs. So, that is what we want to do, but throwing the Bone Brute alone is not enough, so we also have the Archfiend of the Dross. Um, and we have the run. Every time a creature you control dies, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. Well, once each turn. But that is still good enough, especially if you combine it with Jadar, the Goo Call of Nefalia. Um, you make yourself a little zombie. You attack in. As long as you don't have a life gainer, you can do that. And then you zombie will decay and you, you know, loot, drain them too. You get a new zombie. Very darn good. And to make certain that we don't only rely on this little zombie, we also have the Euro Brass Forge. With this we attack in, it has trampled, haste, so it gets bigger every single turn. So there will be a point in time where it attacks in for 4 to 5, then it gets sacrificed, and you can use the Thrawn to drain him even freaking more. And then, but wait, there is more. We also have the freaking Braids, because with that we can sacrifice these two things without relying on, you know, the end of turn. Well, this you have to attack in, actually. But with the Braids, you know, you can just sack it in case they have a life linker, you know. They can just block, gain the life, it doesn't really matter in the end. But with the braids, you know, you can sacrifice the creature. If they don't have creatures they want to sacrifice, you even, like, remove them to life and draw a card. I don't know why I said it that way. So that is very darn freaking good. Um, as removals, we have Bitter Triumph, March of the Red Sorrow, and the Blood Tide Harvester. The Blood Tide Harvester is also super nice with braids, because if you make those blood tokens, you can just guarantee that they, if they don't have an uh, artifact, they lose to life and you draw a card. Very darn freaking a taste. Eh? And we have a Godric. Because uh, it was like apparent while I was building the deck that we needed 
one little oomph sometimes at the end. The God Rig is very good with that, especially if you have your Breast Forge. Just imagine you play the Forge, you attack in for one, the next turn you play the God Rig, now you attack in for five, you know, because uh, even six, because God Rig will flip into a dragon. Very darn freaking tasty. So, this also drains your opponent for each creature they lose, so just losing two life. Very, very darn freaking good. Kalisal Sword, as I already said, is here to throw stuff into our opponent's face. If you flip the God Rig, well, flip it. If you turn it into a dragon and you attack in for it, I don't know, six. And then you, uh, because you can still pump it up once, once it's a dragon. And then you throw the Callous Cell Sword onto it and throw it into their face. Very darn freaking good. Now there's another damage that will just not be able to prevent unless they're playing counter spells. Also, Godric works very well to Sock and Sun. Sock and Sun works very well with our braids. Uh, you know all of that jazz. We have two Restless Vents to get in there for the last bit of damage because it also has Manus, which is very good. We have the Mirex, so we can still force him to sacrifice something. All of this works out very darn freaking well. Don't be afraid to use your removal on your own Haunted Brood or uh, Bone Brood if you, uh, you know, have the, if they have three life left. That is absolutely good. Absolutely freaking good. Um, this is like the third version that day that I tried, and this was the one that actually worked out very, very good. The other ones, we had some problems. Also, we're running 23 lands, because that is more than enough with a deck like this, where the top end is a 4-mana creature, that you don't really need to win the game. So, yeah. That all being said, that is all I have to say. Enjoy the deck. I hope I will see you tomorrow in the last livestream before I'm gone for a week. This is... My sacrifice! I'm Max Malone, and I will see you in those Bone Brood games! Alright, version 3.0! Look in the eyes of a tired heart! We're going first, Krimmers! Yes, Krimmers! I love it! Alright, of course, always a swamp. I mean, you know, with a hand like this, you can absolutely keep a two-lander. We have this, you know, so we can, you know, in the worst case... Yo, Sir Axis Jack, how you doing, my friend? Let us see what we're up against here. Case plus Besiege for all the tutoring? I mean, hey, why not, you know? I'm going with the Bloodhide Harvester. They seem to have something here, and I don't like it. Felden, Sheldon, okay, all right, no blocks. Not an Arch Fiend. Um, a land here would. Well, I mean, this is also pretty darn good. This is also pretty darn freaking good. So yeah, let's slam in there. Gaining life back is pretty darn good against Mono Red. Man, what a team we have here. Oh yeah, I am on Twitch as well. I am everywhere. Squee! Okay, alright. They're doing pretty well for themselves here, not gonna lie. Not gonna freaking lie. And I am still attacking in. Because I am gaining back life, you're not. Alkadoka are to show him. So, how much is this? Two, four, five, eight. The Reckless Stormseeker. So, six, seven. Yeah, that is still not enough. They're just slamming in with everything. So, two, four. Oh! How beautiful! How freaking beautiful is that? How freaking beautiful is that? Ooh, how beautiful is that though? So... We barely don't win, eh? This is four... Oh no, we do win! We do win! Yo, with exactsies even! Yo, Chris, how you doing, my friend? With freaking exactsies even! Oh, that is so dirty, game, but I love every single thing about it! Every single freaking thing!
nothing about it, Mono Red. Get crushed by my tiny Maloney hands. We're up against me, can. Me can, you can. <gasps> Crimmers! Yes, Crimmers! I really love the hand here. Not gonna lie. This is a very good hand. A very darn good hand. Okay, we're up against control. That will be rough. That will be kind of rough. I hope they play another tap land here. They do! Okay, alright. Bring in the forge then. The forge is just super good against control, because what are they even going to do, you know? White, blue, ghostly prison deck? I mean, ghostly prison is always nice. Always freaking nice. Alright, trying to bring in Godric here. If they do have a counter spell they have it, there ain't much I can do about it. Ractus, yes! <clears throat> Mishra Throne shenanigans later? Go ahead and do exactly that. So they're thinking about uh, countering the Godric here, which kind of makes sense. Okay, all right. I mean, this is a pretty, pretty hefty attack. Pretty freaking hefty attack, you know? So what you got here, my friend? A Ganjo, okay. That is one less land for you. Yo, Storm V, how you doing, my friend? Ending the turn here. I hope I draw a land so that I can bring down the Brute next turn. That would be pretty good. Okay, let's do this first. See what they're doing. Here comes the Wandering Emperor. Yup. Kinda no surprise here. Anyone who harms my people. Okay. Alright. That is kind of fine with me, not even lying about that. <clears throat> Try not to miss me. Let's throw this one away now. There's Jadar. I mean, what are they going to do? Destroy my Eurobrass Forge? We'll see about that. We will freaking see about that. They should have just exiled it, gained a life, you know? I am attacking in for more and more every single turn now, so yeah. Your Brass Forge is just so good. Why is the Wandering Emperor so good? Because it's ha it's Flash. The Flash makes it insanely busted. And it can protect itself, you know, all of that jazz. So yeah, it is pretty darn good. That is all there is to say about it. It is pretty darn freaking good. Okay. We're getting in there for four still. They kind of have to do something here, you know? Two, four, six. Oh, if there is a farewell now, I will be slightly sad. Slightly freaking sad. Ottawara. Well, that means you're dead, so. You have an answer now? Oh my lord. We're losing because we cannot find that last freaking land for flipping it on time and doing other stuff. I hate when that happens. Just literally hate when that happens. Should've just gotten in for the damage. But the thing is they kept up a counter spell, so yeah. Oh, I mean it will be, you know. It will be, uh, we'll be, like, going out of the, um, what's it called, out of rotation soon, so yeah. Not really worth it in my eyes. Okay. Let's try to bring in braids.
They do have a counter spell here. We can still answer their stupid land then. They do. I don't think they have spell peers. Let's be honest here. In July. Oh, I can't wait for rotation in July. I really can't wait for it. I can't freaking wait for rotation in July. Man, that is going to be one of the best days of all of our lives. I knew they had the counter spell here, so yeah. Jace. Alright, do they have another counter spell though? Do you think they have another counter spell? Well, let's find out here. They do have another counter spell, all right. Still going face here, nothing else. All right. They really need to draw very well here now, you know? If two, four, six, eight, they can draw one card with the Jace. They kind of also have to do this, yes. Kind of have to. Kind of freaking have to. Two, four, six, eight. I mean, hey, you know, still bringing in the forge. Also, we never found that fifth land in 15 cards. That's kind of questionable. Um. Oh, no, we will still have a bajillion freaking board wipes, so don't you freaking worry about that. Let's try to bring in a forge. If the last card is a counter spell as well, so be it, you know? So freaking be it. There ain't much I can do about it. But I guess it is just a memory deluge holding priority here. They really had another one. They really, really had another one. That is mad. That is absolutely mad, man. Absolutely mad. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, so the last three cards they played were just straight up only counter spells. That is super bad. That is super bad. Yes. Yes, they do. Okay, they're making themselves a little might. Doesn't concern me too much, though. I hope we do draw land here, because then we can just straight up win. Which would be pretty darn good if we could. Pretty darn good if we could. So. We are attacking, which makes sense. Come on, give me a land here, game. Give me a land. Beautiful. Very freaking beautiful. So I am attacking in with everything here, because, you know, the DK token does his stuff anyways. Wonder what their last freaking card is. I really do freaking wonder what their last freaking card is. Okay. Do you think their last card is a counter spell? I think it is just a memory deluge holding priority. Man! What is going on in this game? How are we still... The ones dealing the deeps here. How are we still the ones? I don't understand. This is a game we should have lost three turns ago, four turns ago, five turns ago. <laughs> um, yeah, the first story went up and... Oh, they really do have it, eh? The last card really is a counter spell, eh? No, it is not. Okay, and we win. Perfect. Freaking perfect, man. Boom! You went too greedy. You went too greedy. Play the memory deluge here. Oh, we got you. Uh, ooh, howling like a freaking bone dog that I am. No vocal cords needed. It would just be the wind howling through my empty freaking bones. Get crushed, baby. You're up against Mr. Ice. Totally go here and vote for me. <gasps> Krimus! Yes, Krimus! I really like the hand, even though uh, it's a little bit slow and we might be going down to um, a very early aggro deck, but we will still try our darndest here. Still try our freaking darndest here. Yeah, I mean, times are changing, my friend. Times are changing. Times are freaking changing. 
That's ridiculous for the low disguise cost? I mean, hey, it's a rare after all, you know? It is a rare, so I think it is kind of fine. Oh, okay, all right. So we're dead is what you're saying? <laughs> we're freaking dead is what you're saying? Do you think they're playing counter spells? Well, let's find out. We do have a forge here. I think it is just the gaze. Oh, I know what they are. I know what you are, my friend. They're a reanimator deck. 100% reanimation. So, I think I'm bringing... Oh, wait, they are playing counter spells. What? Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Bring in braids first. I honestly don't think that they want to block here. Okay, ending the turn. Yes. Second hue here. Another land. Not exactly what I was hoping for here, not gonna lie. So, temporary lockdown coming down. So easy, eh? They get one spell for free. And it is the heartbreak of freaking horror. Okay, alright. Well, ain't that something. Ain't that freaking something. Attacking in here like this. They're doing that. I will be fanatically offering that then. <gasps> freaking perfection! Freaking perfection. Okay, pay three life here. Super sadly get rid of my Archfiend of Dross, but hey. Super sadly get rid of that, but hey. It is what it is, needs to be done. Nothing I can do about it. Okay, second this. Blood Tide Harvester. Let us see if they do have another one. If they just have another freaking Abuelo's Awakening. That would be super whack, but hey. But hey. Alright. Counter spell now. Serenity now. Here is the cut. No? Are you certain, my friend, that that was the right freaking call here? Are you freaking certain? Faithful Mending, okay. I mean, that is pretty good. That is pretty darn good. So they're gaining four life back here. But we're still doing a lot of shenaniganery. Yo, Mr. Ice, don't tell me it ain't so. Avert your eyes. Does this have flash? No, it doesn't. Okay. Okay. All right. Ending the turn. Sacrificing you here. They cannot make themselves another token, so that is fine with me. Another land. We can't even use it. We can't even use it because we have two legendary creatures. Beautiful. Okay, all right. So the Eurobrass Forge is still a real freaking threat. There's still a real freaking threat. Yo, thank you so much for voting. I appreciate it. There's still a real freaking threat here. What's that? Okay. <laughs> Alright. I'm so confused. Abuelo's Awakening is not that good, I think. Alright, so they're gaining a lot of life still. Which is questionable, but okay. But they're also not doing too much of anything else. Yo, what is this deck? So they're going to 12 here. Just kind of fine. Another braids. 
I'm taking the Arch Fiend though. I mean, this is still 8 plus, you know, a lot. We still win here. We still freaking win here, no matter what. No ma- and they scoop. They knew. They knew. They had no chance. They got crushed in my mighty abs. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm no Ali Eldrazi, but I'm on my way. I will carry on until I am the way where it's on. Carry on my way where it's on. I love beating them. That was beautiful, man. They were too greedy. Too freaking greedy. Alrighty, do mono red next was the um, was the call. We will see if we can do it. I really like this hand. All we need is like one black source to be super darn happy. It is mono red. Oh my lord, who called it? Who called it? Somebody did. Somebody did call it. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Okay, and Sasolanger is making a huge comeback. And monster roll. Oh, double ancestral anger. I mean, hey, you know, why not? Why the heck not? Okay, maybe we find... No, we don't. I think this is still alright. I think the moment we get down the Archfiend, we're pretty good. Pretty darn good. So, they're thinking long and hard about what they want to do here. Just attacking in. No blocks. Here's the monster roll. Crazy that they didn't have it before. I mean, what you gonna do about something like that, you know? What you gonna do? You're just dead so already before something even happened? So yeah, that is pretty mad. Pretty darn freaking mad. It's mono red going first. What you gonna do about it? What you freaking gonna do about it? All they had was one creature. Are you for real? Nah. Nah. Who even plays Twisted Felty, man? Nobody does! We got beaten by one single creature! Crazy. Crazy. Losing to mono red is like pooping! You have to do it once a day. Once a day. Yeah, I have right now. Yo, Shabo, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. We're going first. Krimus. Yes, Krimus. All right, let's keep this hand. Let's keep this hand. It's not a mono red, I think. Nope, it's five color. Okay. Bit of triumph here is nice. I like it. I don't have mana for the Godric. Okay, all right. <laughs> I don't have mana for the Godric. So let's just keep up this token and draw with it, shall we? So we're up against five color shenanigans. There are many secrets I don't know, but not for long. Doing this. I'm hungry. I'm gonna get a snack. I got someone on the inside who can help. Okay, here's the Arch Fiend. So we're missing one red source for the Godric, eh? Which kind of sucks, but uh, hey, what am I supposed to do about it? Bringing in the little dog. Do you think they have Wandering Emperor here? Or nay. They do. Okay, alright. Well, isn't that something? Now, let's not give him the life, shall we? Yo! Game! Are you mad? The game is absolutely going crazy here. What is this? <laughs> what the heck is this? All right, they're making a samurai, which is kind of fine with me. Do you think they have another one? Do 
You think they just have another one. The fairy mastermind. Okay. All right. Double block in here. Running in Godric now. Hurt migration. What is this deck? <laughs> what is this deck? <laughs> I'm so confused. Uh, the Vein Ripper, like, I thought about it, but it's kind of expensive, you know? So I'm kind of scared. Yo, Alpha, how you doing, my friend? Okay, so... Let me see here. Three, six, eight, ten. I am doing this now. So this is seven. Activating here. Okay, all right. We're just getting in for as much DiMaggio as we can. They just have a board wipe here. A Traxa. That won't save you, my friend. You think it will? But it won't. It freaking won't. Oh, we got him. We freaking got him. Did they play a land already? That's what I was thinking about. Did they play a land already? How much land do we have? Do we have enough? We do have enough. Beautiful. Freaking beautiful. Okay, pay three life. Getting rid of you here. They lose a one or two life. We attack in with everything. And say goodbye to you, sir. We say goodbye to you, sir. Just freaking good day to you, sir. Get absolutely so wasted. You thought you can gain seven life now and you were safe? Don't you think I'm running removal? I'm running all the removal. Get out of here. We're up against Michael Jackson, I guess. I don't know, maybe. Opponent is going first, so we had a nice run of going first once or twice. Uh, I think I like the hand. We do have the removal here. Okay, Restless Vents, you're up. Mono Green. Quirion Beast Caller. Well, we are getting rid of that, I guess. Now, why freaking shouldn't we, you know? A little bit scared here, not gonna lie. We're straight up just playing it, not even, you know. Not even flipping it or whatever. The audacity. I'm scared. Yo, of course they do. Of course they do. <laughs> of course they do. <laughs> of course they freaking do, man. Yeah. Okay, passing the turn here. Of course they do. I mean, we're still super dead here. I mean, hey, you know, maybe, maybe I should have kept my removal for something else here. <laughs> maybe I should. <laughs> Yo, Mr. Grange, thank you so much. I was greedy. I played myself here like a fiddle, like a fiddle. Having the audacity was pretty darn good for them. Not gonna lie. There was, um... Giving a creature that doesn't have trample tra Oh my lord, Krimus! Yeah, it's Krimus! Okay, I really like the hand. Not even lying here. Not even freaking lying here. <clears throat> Another mono red? Oh man! Oh man! Okay, I mean, it is what it is. Nothing I can do about it, is there now? Bring in a Jadario. 
Super Jadario. Oh, what you got here for me? The Kumano, all right. Oh no, the new set, I, I forgot to remove that. Come on, man, come on. The only thing I got going for me and you just have an answer for it straight up. Straightest freaking uppest. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Um, I am attacking in with this. And uh, because I have to, I am getting rid of the Monastery Swift Spear here. I forgot to change the title. New set? No. <laughs> New set? No. <laughs> I mean, hey, you know, it's not the way I want to do it. And... Monster Roll. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Uh, no blocks. Man, Mono Red is so oppressive. So absolutely freaking oppressive. It's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Okay, so. What do they need here? To destroy my Archfiend? A lot. They need a lot. They have two cards in hand. One of them is a Chandra. Okay. What is the other one, though? Oh, okay. Okay. All right. What do you have here? Which stock is frenzy is not enough. Yo, Safike, welcome. Another monstrous rage. All right. Wait. Played slightly conservative here, shall we? No after party. I'm wiped out. So we're gaining two life. They're losing four life. They cannot be attacking in or they're dead, so. All right, that's all it is. No blocks. That's all it freaking is. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, we got him. We freaking got him, man. Freaking Mono Red, the revenge. It only took like three games to find another Mono Red and we did, oh, two games, it doesn't even matter. Get crushed, Mono Red, get crushed. All right, we're up against Moy. Like, the highest rank you can have, of course, is, like, rank one, but... <laughs> Krimus! Yes, Krimus! And I really like the hand. Survey here. Yes, I would like that. Thank you very much. Rank one, Mono Red. Yeah, that is the highest rank you can get. Uh, I do have um, stuff to gain life, so I should be able to gain it, you know? Just need to be a little bit lucky with it. I have a march of the Ratchet Sora and stuff, so yeah. Absolutely A-OK. -okay. You know, the Callus Cell Sword is also so nice with the, um, with the Eurobrass Forge. You can get in for the damage and then just throw the little dude in their face. Which sounds pretty good. Okay. Is the Blood Tide Harvester in, yo? I wonder why they're not doing anything, you know? I wonder freaking why. I mean, this is another five damage coming straight to their face. So, yeah. Ending the turn here. I don't want to throw my stuff in their face yet. Yeah, the Callous Seltzer, it is absolutely amazing. Flinging stuff in your opponent's faces, just absolutely amazing. Alright. 
I think we win here? Question mark. Uh, pay three life. Get rid of Glisser the Sun Slayer. Do you think they just threw this? Tamiyo safekeeping? What? Okay, alright. This is what it is. Tamiyo's freaking safekeeping. <laughs> kind of ridiculous, but okay. Kind of ridiculous, but okay. We're going full control here. Fanatically offering you now. That was kind of crazy, not gonna lie. Okay, so we can, uh, what are we even doing here? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, they're a fight spell deck. Yeah, here comes the fight spelling. They're not doing anything. Yo, punk, thank you so much for three months with the Twitch Prime. That is so kind of you. How are we winning this? There's another arch fiend. Blood Tide Harvester Rino. Here comes the fight spell now. Okay. One. Hmm. Two. Three, four, five. Oh, six permanents. Six. Okay. So, tough luck, Buttercup. Yo, it's a shock. Thank you very much for the follow. Another obliterator. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. We win with the Eurobrass Forge here. <laughs> what a game! <laughs> What a freaking game, man! I cannot believe this game! I cannot believe this game, man! What was this game? What was this game? They made us sacrifice everything and we still won? Yo, absolute madness. MADNESS! So a YouTube video just so you know we lost another game against Mono Red going first. It's, yeah, we, had, we didn't stand a chance. We did not stand a freaking champ. A bit of triumph would have been nice in the last game. Is it another mono red? No, it's not. It's another Golgari. Okay. Oh, Vran, Vran is pretty good here. Pretty darn good here. Okay, alright. Are they just drawing? Oh, okay, alright. That is the kind of deck you are. Need more lightning helix, yeah. <laughs> The very well-known black and red lightning helix that everybody's talking about these days. <laughs> so. Yep. Oh, they're playing my deck. Look, they're playing my deck. Oh, no, they're not. They're just absolutely not playing my deck. Okay. All right. <laughs> Here I thought they were playing my deck. <laughs> Here I thought they were playing my deck, but they aren't. They just aren't. Okay, all right. So, um, we do have to bit of triumph here to get rid of their planeswalker. Yeah, absolutely getting rid of that next turn. Oh, Acre Drinker coming down. Okay, wait, wait. What is this? Okay, all right. Now go ahead and attack me. See what you have from that. 
Just draw in here. Are they attacking in, though? They're not attacking in. Woos. Okay. I'm attacking in like this. Getting rid of you here. Now the trample will still go through, which is pretty darn tasty. Uh, bringing in the Blood Tide Harvester here. Uh, creatures are expensive. The, uh, the three mana board wipe. Yeah, that could be a good idea. You think they're board wiping here? <laughs> okay, all right, not bad, not bad at all. I did not see that coming, not gonna lie. Did not see it freaking coming. Terror Tide, all right. Ooh, Godric, why not? Why not the Rick? Okay, all right, getting in there for seven, pretty darn good. Uh, I will be keeping up my mana for this. Um, if we can get rid of something here and draw something better, that would be good. But if they don't have an answer here straight up, they're just dead so next turn. They need a blocker. Boseju. Honestly, did not see that coming. Not gonna lie. Um, let's take the black source here so that we can fanatical offering. It seems pretty good. Boseju got us pretty darn good here. Yo, Bob Moly, how you doing, my friend? Um, I will be doing this now. Raids is super darn good. Oh, the Blood Tide Harvester is even freaking better. All right, here's the Blood Tide Harvester. Okay, uh, getting in it for four. Um, activate the ability, getting in there for five, so that we win. <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> that would be good if we did that. <laughs> that would be good if we did that to win. Maybe the one damage was almost, almost a freaking problem. But in the end, it wasn't. Get Godricked, baby. Get Godricked. We're up against Emmanuel. Opponents going first. Do not like it, but I kind of like the hand here. Yeah, let's keep it. Let's freaking keep the hand here. Um, yes, I want that because of Godric. Oh, life gain, eh? Oh, wait, what? What is this now? Treasure map. Okay. Yo, obrigado for being here, my friend. Virtue of Persistence. Do not like it, but hey, what am I supposed to do about it? Get in with Godric here now. Godric is pretty tasty. Let us see if they cry away or if they're just... They're keeping on top. Okay, we need to get in for as much damage as we can as fast as possible, so let's do this now. Now, it was written like this, Mr. Ears, because it was German, you know? You think they have a Wandering Emperor? It sure feels like Wandering Emperor coming down here. Sure freaking feels like it. <laughs> Come on, hey, Ganjo. <laughs> hey, Ganjo, all of a sudden. Okay, all right. Your field of ruining me straight up. That is not even not that bad. I'm not even that mad about it. Not even that freaking mad about it. So... We'll be bringing in you now. Them having this is super annoying. Malone was the better choice, I totally agree. 
And so did he, my friend. <laughs> he was like, no way in hell that I'm calling you Mr. Ears. That is just not happening. So do you think they will be greedy and bringing down the, um, the thing? Or will they just wipe the board here? Aglazotst. All of a sudden, freaking Aglazotst. Okay. So, Kalisel Sword means we win, by the way. Kalisel Sword, just straight up freaking winning here. Can we find it? <gasps> Yo, what? What? <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> Yo! Is this the lottery? I would like to buy all of your tickets. How many? Yes. Yes. So let us see if we can do it. The deck I check uh, on Twitter, I will check it out. <gasps> Krimus! Yes, Krimus! And the hand is pretty darn tasty. I like it. Okay, the theater coming down. Yes, absolutely. The Forge wins games. Forge wins games. So, we're up against enchantments, I guess. Or maybe humans. So we are attacking in. Bringing in braids. They have a removal for the braids straight up. That sucks, but it is what it is. Okay, let's draw a card here. Ah, the land is not exactly what I wanted. Totally picking my lottery numbers? Well, just pick the same I do and you will have a good freaking time. <laughs> you will just have a good freaking time. Alright, what are we up against here? I'm very curious. Ve Easiest game of my life. Easiest. No chance for our opponent. Diamond tier 3. Here we go. Let's go. Video is over. Check out the outro. See you tomorrow. I should really start playing the lottery, shouldn't I? I mean, there were some situations where I really thought, yo, we're never getting out of this. But in the end, we did. Look, I'm even wearing my finest lightning strike freaking shirt. <laughs> so yeah, I'm very happy with the deck. Once more, um, it worked out very good in the end. Sometimes I'm just twisting decks, doing things, changing them up a little bit until I'm satisfied. Sometimes I cannot do that. But if I can do it, I'm very happy if it works out like this. Because, you know, it's th the hardest thing to do is to throw away a deck. And just say, ah, screw it. Uh, I, I invested now an hour trying to make this work. But if then in the end it works, you're very freaking happy. And this was one of these decks where I just need to twist and tweak a little bit. Adapt it to the meta of the day. Because that is also always a thing. There is always a meta of the day. You will always encounter like a certain kind of decks more on one day than on others. It's crazy. Sometimes you have a lot of Boros, sometimes you have a lot of Mono Red, sometimes you have a lot of Control. It's kind of weird how that works. Like if that, if those people just come out at a certain freaking day. If you are still here, please put down a little Maloney's Bone Brew down below in the comments. I would appreciate it very freaking much. A huge shout out to all of my sponsors uh, here, uh, you know, the patrons and members that we just saw flowing by. Huge shout out, of course, to Ultimate Guard for sponsoring the show. Check out the link down below, it would help me very freaking much. And remember, my friend, and if you're waking up tomorrow morning and see the beautiful, the beautiful face of yours in the mirror, that all of you are pretty freaking sweet. I'm Matt Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow.